What's up you guys? We are hanging out here at Warp Tour. It's been a lot of interviews today. I'm starting to lose it, but uh, look who I have here. Who do I have? Uh, Joel Piper from Confide. Confide. Tell me about Confide. Uh, just a heavy, heavy band. I guess a, a rock band with screaming in it from uh, all over the world. And kind of reside in Los Angeles. That's great, man. Well, congratulations on that. I would like to ask you a quick warm-up question here. Favorite pickup line? Oh man, I have so many that I like. I use with my friends well, you, you all the time. You use them so much, you gotta keep it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't use them in real life, but I use them as jokes. What's a? Uh, dang, I can't think of any right now. Um. Oh, the. Did it hurt? Oh no. Yeah. What? Yeah. What is it? Does your? Yeah. Does your face hurt or something? Or I don't know. Did it hurt? What? Did it hurt when you? When you fell from heaven, and then my friends like Joel, shut up. But other than that. I have a whole bunch when I'm not on the spot. Excuse me. There's a lot of bands out there. Why should people check out Confide? Uh, I don't honestly know why. I mean, maybe it's good. I don't think we're good, but you don't think you're it's, good. It's been it's been a surprise. I mean, uh, we've been us and our friends of Mice and Men have been the main draw on uh, the Skull Candy stage the whole tour. I mean, every day we've had the biggest crowds, so it's I'm surprised. You know, like I honestly, we just did a new record called Recover released it in May um, while we were in Europe and uh, yeah kids have been we've had us and Amice have had the biggest crowds every single day and um, we've been like selling more merch than anyone on our stage which is weird too we're like what like okay you guys are pretty popular yeah what are some of the biggest challenges of being on the road at a young age um well we haven't really had like a break in like a long time like all all year and we don't have a break till December we have three days off after Warped, and then we do another full U.S. tour, so, um, I don't know, it's hard, you miss family birthdays, deaths in the family, weddings, you miss everything, you know, and you sleep in this little coffin the whole year, you know. Is it worth it? Oh yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it, like, meeting the kids that, like, something you created, like, actually affected them in a way that changed their life, or just entertained them in a way to where they're just, like, they want to tell you, you know, it's it just, it's such a unique experience, you know, and it makes it worth it. What's it like having adoring female fans? Uh, I don't know, like, I have, like, adoring, I guess you could say, that makes it sound like I'm some kind of cool guy, but I don't know, I we have, like, guys and girls, we have the coolest fans, like, some dude just randomly brought me an Iron Man mask, like, and I wore it on stage yesterday, like, just because he knew I liked Iron Man, you know, like, I, it's just so cool, like, how the kids, like, really appreciate us, you know, traveling all year round to hang out with them, you know. Describe the person next to you using one word. The person next to me? Handsome. I'd say oh, wow. handsome. Yeah. Thank you so much. I would say, um, brilliant. Oh. Too kind, too kind. <laughs> it's all serious too. This guy is so awesome. I can't even describe. This guy. No, this guy. No, this guy. No. Uh, okay, yeah. We're, yeah, you're yeah. right. No, no. no. <laughs> uh, How dare you? All right. I'm just kidding. No, this guy's awesome, not me. He's not though. Um, so, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Scariest fan experience? Uh, I've been thrown in jail. So, really? Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, in Texas, near Austin, I, uh, climbed a water tower. Me and, uh, what were you thinking? We, we just wanted to make little video blogs, you know, and, uh, because we have piercings and tattoos, you know, the cops really didn't like us, and, uh, everyone from around town was like, if that would have been a local, you would have just been, like, kicked out, you know, but... We were yeah. on the tower, like we didn't even climb it because it was so like humid that we just looked at it. We like climbed 30 feet up. We're like, no, this is a joke. And then uh, cops came, and we like hid behind this little building. And then long story short, you were the, hiding from the cops behind a water tower. Yeah, half the band was outside, and half of us were inside. And uh, we got a criminal trespass misdemeanor, and thrown in jail, spent the night in jail, got an hour. So these guys are badass. Uh, it was in my old band, so you got an hour of, uh, I was I was I spent the entire night in jail and got out an hour before our next show, and uh, still made it. Yeah, and I didn't because luckily we were playing in that town, and uh, I didn't eat the whole time either. So like I'm playing the show, and then I like was dead by the time the show. Was you guys did not believe the night I had yeah. fans. Yeah. And then everyone in the crowd like was like kidding around because. Like, they already knew that we were, like, in jail, so we were like, hey, what's up? We're so, you know, our band's name, and then we're like, we're down from the water tower, and everyone just started cracking up.
so it's terrible. Oh, you, you guys in Confide, you just, you just doing that. Yeah, that terrible. you'd be doing. Holly on Twitter would like to know if you were a woman for a day, what would you do? We well, woke up shockingly to be the opposite gender. How would you respond? First thing I thought it was shot, but that's still what I do now. So I'd say shop. Shop. Yeah, even though I like shopping now. Get your nails done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually, like some tight yeah, jeans. Actually, there's a lot of dirt in those. Yeah, so. those nails. Ooh. My jeans are already tight. I'm sorry, guys. That is not the not pretty nails. Yeah. Then again, these are working. How are my nails? nails? You like my nails? Yeah, those are those are nice. Yeah, these are non-warped to your nails, yeah, right? These are, these are drummer. Life on the road sort of thing. Destroyed drummer hands. Yeah. Well, I would like to wrap this up and ask you to promote your music, um, tours, whatever you'd like to talk about. Uh, we got. Three days after this, we go back out in the road, full U.S., with uh, this band called We Came as Romans. And then uh, right after that, we go to Japan with Pierce the Veil in uh, October. And then right after that, we have another full U.S. tour with uh, this band called Miss May I. So you're not, you guys aren't even busy. No, not really. We yeah. like to... We like More to for tour. barbecue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no big deal. So... Got some time to kill. Yeah, serious. And then after that, taking our first break in, like, who knows how long, and then uh, writing a new record, so... We're excited. Well, these guys are awesome. This guy is very genuine here. Definitely check him out. Confide. And uh, guys, we're making it through these interviews one by one by one. So we're going to leave this one here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. I'm losing it, guys. It's okay, though. Confide. Yeah. Check him out. Brian Starr's interviews. See you guys later. Peace. Out. Yep. Don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. We are backstage with Slipknot. I am here with my good friend, the American Idol, Chris Allen. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and show you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. What do you like about Katy Perry? Everything. Happy so birthday, dear Brian. Huge meaning or self-defining sort of thing. I think we just lost one of our interviews. Rate, comment, and subscribe for new videos every week. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian O'Dell. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.